Hello everyone, my name is Ruzi, and today we're going to be talking about why the Archives map is perhaps one of the best maps in Amnesia that are descent. If you like this video, feel free to like it, share it to your friends, and best of all, subscribe to our channel. Anyways, let's get into the video. So here's a brief rundown of the map. Archives is a map in the Dark Descent which the player can enter from the entrance hall. They can access this level quite early in the game. However, when the player first enters the level, they can see that it's not like any of the previous maps. This level is not entirely made out of stone or bricks. Rather, this level seems to be made all out of wood. This level also looks nicer and more mansion-like, although the player can still see how it's almost starting to fall apart, with stuff like messy and disorganized rooms and some holes in the ceilings. There's also a bunch of notes and diaries that the player can find and pick up in this level, and it also has an important cutscene to the lore. Throughout the level, they can also hear weird monster-like noises, a piano playing and closing by itself, and even some hallucinations. The main puzzle of this level is a book puzzle. In this puzzle, the player has to pull three secret books and three bookshelves. If done correctly, this will move a large bookshelf which then leads to a secret room with a key to the wine cellar on the desk. After the player picks up the key, a door gets knocked open by some monster which isn't there at all. This should make the player be able to leave the map, going back to the entrance hall, and then to the wine cellar using the key to unlock it. So that's all the stuff in the Archives map. I think Archives is the best map because of several things. The overall level design of the Archives is very solid. It really fits the point and style of the map, and some of the windows have more atmosphere and depth that you can see through them. There's also a giant hallway which is pretty cool considering there's not much hallways like this in the entire game. The cracked ceilings also makes for the usually ransacked and messy environments of the Brandenburg Castle. Oh, and let's not forget to mention the great lighting throughout the map. The lighting from the cracked ceilings adds more atmosphere in the rooms and the god rays in the huge hallway are also incredibly well done. Of course, the windows have the best god rays, Frictional definitely wasn't messing around when they were making them. The ambience in this level is, in my opinion, the most spookiest and atmospheric in the entire game. It really gives off the exact feeling that this level needs. The sounds are also well done in this level, and the player can hear wind blowing from the windows and cracked ceilings, and it can also hear mysterious sounds throughout the level, such as the piano playing and the unnatural growling sounds and such. Even when scares happen, the sounds that play fit perfectly and give the player an unnerving feeling. Speaking of scares, let's talk about those now. This level has a lot of scares and unexpected events that happen. For example, when the player enters the area, the ceiling behind them collapses, trapping them in the room. There's also two monster hallucinations in the level, and a lot of weird sounds that could sometimes catch the player off guard. The lore in this level is pretty important. The player can find several notes telling some parts of the game's story, but I won't get into those. The main focus of this level is, in, is this cutscene. The lore in this level is pretty important. The player can find several notes telling some parts of the game's story, but I won't get into those. The main focus of this level is this cutscene. In this cutscene, they can see the orb for the first time in the game, which is a very important element of Amnesia's story. Lastly, the puzzle in this level is also pretty good. After the ceiling collapses, the player has to find a way to break this wall to enter a room with several bookshelves. In this room, there's a mechanism in three of the bookshelves that opens a secret door in the room. They have to pull out three grey secret books from the bookshelves, and if they do it in time, a bookshelf moves itself which reveals the secret room of the wine cellar key, and also a note. When the player picks up the key, a monster breaks open the door, which lets him get into the other side. I should also mention that this level is pretty early in the game, so the player can get more scared, since they are most likely still not used to the game. After they escape the library, they can leave this level and continue onwards to the wine cellar. So here's a hyper quick summary. In my opinion, this map has everything that a good map needs in Amnesia. Good level design, good lighting, good scares, good notes and lore, and a good puzzle. And that's why I think it's one of the best levels in all of Amnesia Dark Descent. Anyways, this is the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like, comment some video ideas in the comment section, and subscribe to our channel. Peace out.